all right what is going on guys and welcome back so today we are here at the land of the surf and uh had a little bit of uh gopro issues um gopro uh and uh it attempted to format the, my sd card so i immediately took my sd card out and i'm hoping i'm hoping that I saved the footage. Uh, I came out here about 45 minutes before high tide, and uh, it took like three miles just to find the fish. And then I hooked up on a hot bite, and uh, I missed. I ha I caught four, and then I missed about three. Missed about three, and uh, and then right now uh, I fished for another 10-ish minutes, and then I started getting the. Little message saying that there's an SD card error, so um, so I immediately took the the SD card out. I'm hoping that uh, I've, I've had this problem before, uh, where I got a little bit of water in it, and but I had to let the GoPro like dry out, and it took like a couple days. But um, so I think I'm done fishing for today, and uh, I got to walk like three miles, miles back. And uh, who do we got on? We got eight people on. Uh, there we go. Hey, what's up, Mario Hernandez? How's it going? Deadliest cast. What's up, man? Oh, oh, Marcelo. Hey, what's up, Marcelo? So, uh, yeah, I'm out here at the land of the surf and having GoPro issues, so I think I'm done for today. Uh, Hoping to catch my limit, <laughs> but it's, it looks like I'm cutting my my fishing time short. But we got four. We got four. Um, this one's about like a 13 incher. This one's about a 12. Another probably like what is it? 12 and a half. And then this one's like an 11 and a half. But I only kept this one because uh, it was, you know got hooked in the gills so uh, I wasn't gonna be irresponsible and let it back in because it was gonna die anyways um, so we got four today missed three so we're gonna bag what's up my guy um, we're gonna bag these up and uh, start walking walking back to the truck I was hoping to be out here for another another hour but oh well and we can finally go live guys we can finally go live it took like forever um waiting little guy's still kicking back there uh little guy uh not little guy um i've been waiting for oops oops I've been waiting to go live for since I hit the thousand, but it was going through the process of making sure everything was good. And uh, well, let's go back to the comments. I love you too, Bello, my little brother. Dougie, fish, keep grinding. Yeah, you know, I thought about keep grinding it out, but I have stuff to do at home today. Uh, Mario Resendez said Oceano. Yeah, I'm at Oceano right now. I walked to pool, pool three. Oh, I'm all the way at pool three. This is, pool three is where they're biting. Uh, so if you come out here, um, probably try pool three. Uh, I didn't get no bites until pool three. Um. Hold on, let's flip this upside down. There we go. I keep covering the camera by, by accident. Uh, yeah, man, deadliest cast the pros. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it saves it. I'm hoping that I wait a couple days and it's good to go. What's up, John? John Barrett? Barrett? Did I say that right? I'm hoping so. Uh, deadliest cast said fish fry. Yeah. Um, this is. It might be. Might be dinner today. Uh, I caught a cabazon. Actually two cabazons yesterday uh, I went out with Matt squad fishing uh, if you haven't um, <coughs> if you 
If you don't know who Squad Fishing is, Matt, uh, make sure to go check them out. We went out rock fishing yesterday at the Land of the Rocks, and uh, I caught two cabazons and missed a couple bites. Um, he caught, Matt caught one small cabazon. Let's see, let's see. Uh, how's the wind, Dougie said? Um, right now the winds are about like two miles an hour, two mile hour winds. Uh, when I got out here, there was like zero. There was no wind at all. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, I'm back out fishing, uh, but I'm cutting. I come cutting my day short today, um, so I'm packing up and uh, freaking. I had my I had my wallet, my keys, my phone in this little baggie in my backpack, and there's a little tiny hole and some water got in it. So my phone got all wet, my keys got all wet, uh, my wallet got all wet. So. I'm hoping that my car key fob still works. Okay. All right, we're all ready to go. I'm gonna walk back to the car. All right, guys, how's how's your guys' day going? Mario said I should have hit you up. Uh, yeah, man. Um, you know, actually today I almost really almost didn't plan on fishing because I went out yesterday. Um, I have everything? Yeah, I have everything. Yeah, yesterday I, plan I, I didn't plan on coming this morning, but I was like, you know what? Let's go out today uh, because this is my three-day weekend until I go back to work Monday. Um, and you know this upcoming week i you know i get my three-day weekend and then i gotta work six days straight and i won't get another day off until the next sunday sunday monday not you know not this sunday but next sunday monday and uh i was like you know what let's get a little session today and it's like three miles to get to hooked up on some fish let's see uh, carpet cleaning. Gino said carpet cleaning early morning. Are you carpet cleaning? You want to come clean my carpets? My carpets need cleaning. Good morning, Steve. How you doing? Uh, say people are fishing. What did I can't read? Uh, all right. Sorry about that, guys. I I hit something. All right, so uh, people still fishing. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? Uh, Steve said, did I catch today? Yeah, I caught three, or no, I caught four. I caught four surf perch, I missed about three. And uh, the bite, Jesse said, how was the bite? The bite was hot. Once I got to mile three at Oceano, um, I probably made like, I don't know, like, and then finally hooked up and I picked off four and missed three in the same exact spot. Like I did not move my little my little satchel thing that I have, and uh, all of them were in the same spot. Uh, but our people out here, there. When I first walked in, um, there was five people right at the gate. Uh, well, right in front of the gate, they're fishing. Sorry about that, guys. Again, I keep I keep hitting something by accident. Um, but yeah, uh, I got here. There's five people right in front of the gate fishing. Yeah, apologies, Jesse. I keep. Um, but uh, right when I got here, there's five people fishing, and uh, right in front of the gate, he wasn't fishing. He was like, I'm gonna walk. Uh, one thought that was me. I thought that was me. No, 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 it's me. It's me. I accidentally keep uh, hitting something. So apologies, guys. 
And uh, yeah, and then I started with uh, six bodies down there, and two of them. But it looks like four of them are just hanging out. Yeah, man, Eric, go fishing, man. Uh, you know, if, if you can, just be safe about it. Uh, keep your distance and uh, make sure that you're able to fish and wherever you are want to fish. You don't want to get in trouble, no fines, no, no jail time. Uh, we are still allowed. Uh, Eric Cruz said, Felisa, no, I did not catch it. And being was because the sun, the sun is out and uh, I casted the Kalisa about like 300 times three to four hundred times and it uh once the sun picked uh once the sun peaked uh i decided to do something more flashier and the only lures that i have that are flashy are uh lucky crafts uh, uh jesse said do you guys get stripers down there um a couple people have caught recently uh, our, our good buddy Rob uh, recently caught his uh, Edward hooked to cook he caught his uh, I don't know probably a month or so ago something like that um, but we rarely get them uh, they're not not really common down here but we're hoping that a big school of them come down our way um, See. The sound is wrong. I don't know. If I, the sound. Can you guys hear me clearly? Is is my sound wrong? Or on your sound? Or in your phone? Oh, that's my little brother. <laughs> uh, what's up, man? Squad fishing. What's up, bro? So yesterday, me and squad fishing went out. Yeah, uh, rock fishing. Ones between us two. I caught an 18-inch. Uh, cat was on tying my personal vest and a barely legal 15 inches um, none of which were blue uh, which is I believe I got flies up all up in my face but I believe from what I was told the cabazons and link that are blue that 80% of I don't know if that's true don't quote me on that but uh, the ones that we caught were the brown ones uh, I believe, I can't remember, um, Matt, I can't remember if you caught a little red one or if it was a brown one. I was at a distance, so I don't know. Uh, but from what I was told is that 80% of the blue ones are female and, uh, the, you know, the brown ones are mostly, most likely male, all male. But don't quote me. Uh, says bro, was it Eric said bro, come to L.A. Uh, Orange County and Corbina in the surf. Uh, I heard that all that's closed. Is it true, Eric? Um, did they close off the beaches to everybody, even like you know fishermen? Yeah, like, nobody, nobody can go out there. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Okay, Steve said I, he can hear me fine. Uh, Pedro, which beach? Which beach am I in? I am in Oceano. Corbina, Eric said Corbina is fight, better fighting than Perch. Um, I've never caught a Corbina, or I've never landed a Corbina. I've, I've hooked them up, and yeah, they, they, to me, they feel almost like, I keep getting flies in my ear. To me, Corbina, I feel like, I feel like the closest thing that I have caught that fights probably as good as Corvina is smell, but that's my opinion. Uh, squat fishing, he said, yeah, a little red one. Uh, surprising, surprised barely any Cal California channels do a vid catching local Corbina. Um, yeah, Eric, uh, that's one, uh, that's one species in which I plan on knocking off my list as a Corbina because I have to land one. 
I've hooked one up, but um, wasn't able to land one. Weekend fisherman. What's up, bro? Uh, says, hey, bro, have fun. Be safe out there. Yeah, I'm, you know, keeping my distance. Um, I don't think I've gotten closer than like 200 yards from somebody. My distance. Definitely. Jesse said, here in San Francisco Bay, parking lot's closed, but you can still be on the beach. Awesome. Oops. No, 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 no. I'm like trying not to mess stuff up again. Uh, Jesse said, how was the striper fight, though? Uh, which one? I've caught two stripers. Uh, my first striper I caught, um, I released because I didn't have no tape measure and uh, I think that was that was when that was when my first GoPro I had malfunctioned on that one I, I fell in the water and my GoPro got all wet um, JC are you talking about the 28 inch striper that I caught back in October Eric said, you and Mario and Ed's dad, you guys, you, Mario, and Ed's dad. What do you mean, Eric? Like, what do you mean? You, you said you and Mario and Ed's dad are, guys are better than Ed. What do you mean by that? Steve said, get Refugio, no, Refugio gets Corbina in September and October. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that information, Steve. Um, adventure, hold on. Let's say Adventure Channel. It says, man, you need to get back to fishing. The fish are out there in the ocean waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, um, but one of two things. Uh, I have, you know, stuff to do at home. Uh, stuff in which I was trying to finish up yesterday, but I was, once I once I got home from the uh, fishing trip that me and Matt had, I was just tired, and uh, I passed out on the couch and woke up, and it was early morning this uh, this morning. So I got plenty of chores to do at home. Uh, Jesse said on the vid. Uh, okay, I'm assuming I'm assuming Jesse, you're talking about. Uh, the 28 inch striper that was a fun fight it wasn't a long fight uh, but now I'm able to tell uh, the difference between uh, you know like a perch bite and uh, a striper bite because those tugs you know, definitely feel uh, what would you, how would you say it they definitely feel rougher Fisherman than Ed. Um, I wouldn't say so. Uh, like in all honesty, um, I feel you know Ed, Ed is definitely Edward is definitely a better fisher than me. He knows all the specs and uh, you know of course Mario too. If you guys have, you know don't know Mario and Ed, Hook to Cook and Mario Resendez, make sure to go check them out. Uh, you know I've learned a lot from them. Uh, actually, Edward kind of got me. Not got me into surf fishing, but got me more interested into surf fishing. Uh, be because before I met Edward, uh, the only thing that I threw was Berkeley Gulp sandworms. And, uh, you know, I was catching either nothing or, you know, a little baby fish. And Edward introduced me to the Lucky Craft, you know, in the hard baits. And, um, yeah, uh, you know, I've learned. Pretty much everything I know about surf fishing, I've, I've learned from him and a little bit of Mar from Mario. But Eric, uh, I you know I wouldn't say that I'm a better fisherman than Edward. He 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 goes savage on these beaches. What <laughs> savage on these beaches? Um, Ken said April sixth is supposed to be good.
Good for, good for what? Uh, Corbinas? And Ma, <laughs> my, my brother said, how are the cats? The cats are fat and lazy and, uh, you know, really affectionate right now. Especially our, our little boy, uh, Tits. And, uh, yeah, I have a cat named Tits, or I name him Tits, uh, because he, he eats a lot and, like, where his chest is, uh, they like developed like little, I don't know what you call them, little sacks or whatever, but it, it, they look like tits. It's funny. My wife gets mad. Um, Ronnie said, anyone give you a hard time being out there? Uh, no, uh, I've had probably like four rangers. Uh, drive by, you know, they didn't even talk to me. They just you know, drove by. I actually had two sitting pretty close to me. They're just chilling in their car watching me. And it's funny because right when they stopped um, to watch me, uh, that's when I started hooking up at pool three. Uh, let's see. But nobody's giving me a hard time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you're joking, at, uh, Eric. Hey man, Eric, thank you. Thank you for, uh, you know, all the love and support. Uh, you know, it really does mean a lot. Um, I probably, you know, don't say it enough, but, you know, everybody is, everybody's love and support, it really means a lot to all of us. Um, Ronnie said, just kind of wondering, I want to go fishing, just worried about getting stopped. So far, oh, anybody stopping anybody at Oceano? Um, uh, uh, is there a go to list of videos on surf fishing? What do you mean, go to? Good morning, Mr. Striper, Mr. Striper for Sport Fishing. Yeah, um, I'm done for today, Mr. Striper. Um, I got things to do, and uh, I try not to uh, mess up my GoPro a little more, more than it already is. Uh, Ken said, sleep on your chest. La Pu La La Pu La Pu said thanks for your content always how how was the monkey face eel you caught did you grill it or fry it in a pan uh, during the po pulling episode so on uh, that monkey face eel it was it was interesting it I've never had like a firmed meat fish and it had it tasted good it tasted really good um it did have like a little weird taste i don't know what i would call that taste but it's like a little aftertaste but i you know overall i i, I loved it um i fried it on the pan with some uh santa maria style seasoning and uh you know butter obviously and uh, me and the wife had it we had that i can't remember what did we have all together i believe i cooked it over the pan with cinnamon style seasoning and oil, uh some rice and some green bean casserole some green bean corn casserole uh i definitely would try like a different recipe uh the next time i do catch a monkey face eel i want to try something a little different uh, maybe I'll try grilling it. Uh, stop covering the mic. Am I covering the mic? I'm like trying to. I'm trying to hold my phone as best I could. I left my little. Uh, I left my little tripod back at home. I, I meant to pack it 
so I can just like hold it straight out like this. Um, but I left that at home. said gotta be careful gotta be careful you yet <laughs> well you know the wife doesn't watch the channel <laughs> uh, you know she don't care she she um, she always uh, she knows I'm out here fishing because um, I have video evidence of course Let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Hmm. Uh, Mario said, Resendez said he had no issues, but they had no issues at Oceano, I mean, Oso Flaco. You know, I was debating. I was debating whether to go to Oso Flaco today, but yeah, I didn't really want to walk all that way just to walk some more on the beach. And I was like, you know what, I'll just park where the houses are at Oceano and just can walk and cast, walk and cast and hope that I catch fish. Uh, Jesse said, how far did he walk? Uh, I walked three miles. I walked, I walked to pool three, and that's where I found them, was pool three. Uh, I didn't get no bites, no nothing, until pool three. God, I wish I would have brought my... Let's try this. I wish I would have brought my, my, uh, tripod. Should have did it again. I don't know why, I don't know why it stopped it. That time I didn't push anything. Um, looking forward to, oh, oops, uh, looking forward to more of your catch and cook videos, uh, Ronnie said. Uh, I have one I need to edit, which was yesterday, which was uh, our rock fishing trip with Matt. Uh, we did catch and cook. We didn't do no sides or nothing. We just cooked up the fish and uh, butter and San style seasoning. So stay tuned for that. Um, I was debating whether to bring uh, my cooking stuff today, but I was trying to pack light because I knew I was going to be walking a distance. Uh, hope to join you someday. Yeah, man. Um, I got freaking flies in my ears. Ugh. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, you know, one of these days we have to, you know, link up. Um, I believe. Where did you say you're from? Down south in the L.A. area, Orange County area. Uh, I have yet to fish down there. Uh, that's one area which I want to go to. Uh, when I don't know. Um, oh, hey, Bello. Hey, Marky. My younger brothers. Is the room clean? Are your rooms clean? Every time I go over, the rooms aren't clean. I have to yell at them to clean the room. So you better have your clean rooms clean, guys. Uh, peace out, Eric. Uh, have a good day. Stay safe. Um, Steve said, you walked all the way. You walked all the way, you crazy hiker. Yeah, well... For those of you who don't know, I work for the Postal Service, so I walk an average of like 10 miles, 11 miles daily. And so, you know, this really, this really isn't nothing. Um, and then, you know, on the weekends, uh, usually on Sundays, uh, me and one of my coworkers, we go running uh, on some hiking trails. Yeah, mostly Orange County. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, apologies again. Uh, so, I'm 
something out here is interrupting my connections because I'm not I'm not touching anything now. I'm not touching anything on my screen. So something out here is interrupting the connection. So apologies. But let's get back to the comments. Um, Ken said, I am a walk away from Marina State Beach. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever fished that beach. Uh, but I go to Santa Maria for the in-laws. Yeah, um, you know, if you're, you know, when you're up here and you plan on uh, going out fishing, uh, just shoot me a message uh, on Instagram or Fishbrain or maybe, you know, even Facebook. Um, about when you're gonna come out here and uh, uh, we'll definitely link up uh, Steve said Jansen great watching you <laughs> yeah Steve I don't know if we're gonna be able to how's it going huh uh, yeah I got a uh, pool three is where they're biting um, from you know I didn't, I didn't get no bites until Three. Yeah. Huh? That's a long walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't get no bites. No bites right here until over there, and then that's when I caught. I caught four, and then I missed about three of them. So that's where they are right now. Yeah. Did you see Ian down there? Who? Ian. Ian? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Um, I know there's a group of like six people out there. Um, I don't know if that was them. I didn't go that far though. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. What was your name? Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. And? Excuse me? Eric. Eric? Yeah. You guys want to say what's up? All right, we're on live right now. So we got Andrew yeah. and Eric, members of the fishing fam. And uh, yeah, pool three is, uh, you know, where they're at. All right, All right. All right. Have, have a good one. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Got, got to run into some members of the fishing fam out here. You know, it's always it's always it's always fun to run into uh, you know you guys out here. Um, I actually deliver mail to like like about ten of you guys, which is pretty funny. Um, Cause I'll I'll just be delivering mail. You know, I'm just listening to my music, just having a having my little uh, my sing-alongs while I'm delivering mail, and I'll hear, "Hey, what's up, man, sir?" And I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" And then you know we get to talking, and uh, yeah, it's cool meeting you guys. see uh cast cast boldly said good luck out there uh i'm done bro i'm done for the day i got four and that's kind of all i need really uh it's gonna be dinner for me and the wife someday uh what's up seaside roots what's up ray how's it going uh marina state beach is in your monterey oh okay 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 I think I've only been to that beach once, maybe twice. Then, you know that beach. I didn't. I that beach. I I could not remember what it was called. Um. So is fishing allowed? Ken said, uh, "Fishing is allowed here on the Central Coast." Yes. Um, I don't know where else they closed it off um and what i was told is you know san diego's uh closed and the majority of down there is pretty closed but um hmm. if you can find a place to park Okay. Walking distance from the marina. April 6. Okay. I would like to head up there. So <laughs> I would like to head up there uh, in a couple months or so. But hopefully we get that opportunity.
Uh, Steve Jansen said San Diego to Santa Barbara is closed. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Um, because me and Steve, stupid flies getting in my ear. Me and Steve were planning on going down south to hunt some halibut, and then I heard that, and I told uh, I told Steve, I was like, hey, San, from what I heard, it was San Diego to Santa Barbara, it's closed. You know, you can't fish, which, uh, I'm hoping it isn't true, but who knows. Uh, if you guys are down down south, uh, let me know if from San Diego to Santa Barbara is closed because I would like to head down there and uh, catch some halibut. Uh, what is it? Ronnie said it looks nice out here. Yeah, it does look nice. Uh, it's pretty nice out here. Uh, we got some people jogging, some people walking, some people fishing. Uh, winds are probably now like one mile an hour. Nice and nice and sunny. Um, don't sneeze or don't sneeze or cough on the fish. Ken said, "I'll try not to. I'll try not to." Uh, Smooth and cough on fish. Hmm. Oh man, I didn't realize how far I walked. This walk is so long now. It's funny because you don't think about how far you're walking when you're casting and walking, like, or casting and like shuffling your feet, which is what I do. I cast and shuffle my feet. Uh, as I'm something, something's interrupting the stream. Um, because I am not touching anything, so it's not, it's not me. I thought it was me for a little bit, but hold on, hold on, yeah. All right, guys. Um, YouTube, you, the YouTube app, crashing on my side. That's why. That's why we're getting that uh, connection interrupted. Or yeah, the connection interrupted um, is because my YouTube app is failing. Ah, oh, stupid flies. Yeah, the YouTube app is malfunctioning on my on my part. There we go. Seaside Root said the YouTube mobile app freezes like crazy. Yeah, what was it? At first, you know, when when I was getting the interruptions, uh, the live stream stopping. I thought it was me. I thought I was I was accidentally pressing something um but after like third time it froze i didn't press nothing on the uh on the screen because i thought i kept like touching some button that's like stopping the stream but it's the youtube app that is freezing so apologies for apologies to you guys for the app, youtube app um steve jackson said have a good day my friend have a good day steve Oh, I swallowed a fly. Oh, protein. But yeah, have a good day, Steve. Stay safe. And uh, we'll figure something out. Some fishing trip. Uh, if we can't go down south for halibut. <laughs> Jen, uh, Ken said just a fly. Yeah. Just to fly. Um, the giveaway. So about the the giveaway. 
Um, I, I've been checking my mail every day uh, because I plan on giving away uh, a Kalisa lure or a couple Kalisa lures and uh, Kalisa is sending one possible two lures and uh, he, they said it would be two to three weeks so I've been checking the mail every day and uh, so far nothing yet and then I ordered uh, I ordered three nuclear pinks so if they send one lure then um, I'm not they didn't say what what lure they're gonna send but when they when when I receive it um, if it's just one lure I'll throw in I'll throw in a, a nuclear pink for the winner <laughs> Rodney said the fly yeah, I got tons of flies hovering around my face. And right here we got a couple. We got a couple fishermen right here. And uh, almost in front of the one to the right, you got some surfers. We got some more surfers coming in. Really? No bueno, no bueno. Uh, seaside roots. Uh, how many miles did I put in this morning? Um, three to our fishing spot, and then three miles back. The fly army. Yeah. It took three, uh, Ray, it took three miles just to find the fish. But we found them. So, uh, I, with today's video, I'm not sure what exactly what I want to do with it because I had the malfunction like midway through the trip. Should I, I should I make this into like, like a catch and cook? Throw throw some <laughs> stupid flies. Uh, get into I better that. Throw some, uh, throw a couple of the perch on the grill. I don't know. Have it for lunch. Maybe. Three sand miles feels like a normal six miles. Yeah, on the dunes it does. It definitely does, especially, especially doing it through the water. Beautiful day to be at the beach today. The closer I get to the entrance, there's like a gang of people out there, so let's try to stay away from people right now. <sighs> I feel like I've been walking for like two hours. But alright. Um Hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll try to get to editing the, uh, the rock fishing trip in which me and Matt had yesterday. And uh, I don't know. I'm. St I still. I should. I should. I make this into a catch and cook since we had malfunctions. Should I just leave it? I don't know. Like this video up if you want to. Have, like if you want. If you want some fish grilled. Like this video up, and uh, when I get home, I, I can I'll do so. And uh, until next time, guys, keep fishing on. Peace. I love this. I don't even know how to stop it.